Welcome back to the second part of Sports Finale. I'm Kevin Kimathi. Remember, you can join in the conversation via social media handles at Switch TV, Kenya at Kimathi, Kelvin at Alikan, Kazi at uh, Tahir Abani. You can also send us an SMS uh, via 229992 and we we'll definitely sample your feedback. What, are, what is your opinion uh, regarding the resumption of Spanish La Liga? You can also ask any questions you have for the ping pong master himself. Alikan Kazia. You can also ask us uh, any question regarding transfer rumors. Remember, I will be updating you more on who is set to join which team later on in our transfer chat uh, segment. And now let's just delve uh, into the interview. We're still here in studio with uh, the man we've seen uh, making those uh, ping pong trick shots right there, uh, Alikan Kazia. Alikan, when did you actually get to find out that you can do that? Uh, well, <clears throat> so while I was not in school or in university, I was just um, watching online trick shots being done. Yeah. So I thought, why not recreate them? So I just used mm -hmm. to recreate them yeah. and post them on Facebook for fun. Mm -hmm. And I got a good response. Yeah. But then I stopped and then um, I met Tahir, yeah. who saw that, okay, I can do these things. Yeah. Do you want to start again? Do you want to do it together? And I said, okay, sure, why not? Let's do it. For how long has, have you been doing this? in terms of years now okay so with Tahir I started two years ago Jeez. so we've been doing it for two years mm -hmm. but since I started actually doing tricks maybe four years four years and it's been a great journey because I remember the last time I came at your place to cover you in training uh, you're just celebrating was it one million views and nowadays I've just been seeing you trending online from Fox Australia covering you yeah. and at the International Table Tennis uh, Federation sharing your, uh, your tricks online. You've been a man uh, trending <laughs> all over. Yeah, we, we've been trending yeah. um, slowly. Yeah. Uh, the views are picking up, yeah. the following is picking up, but I want... Yeah. just to blow up you know i just want yeah. that thing to go viral yeah. i'm just waiting for that moment there's that one clip that i watched it actually had over two million views on facebook tahir yes how does that uh, feel you being the pong masters uh, page manager and the communications guy well it, actually it feels great because it was least expected yeah. we were very great that the international table tennis federation asked us uh, to put the video up yeah. and uh, thank you to them yeah. So once it started picking up traction, we just started noticing that so many random people who don't follow us, who don't follow them, yeah. just started seeing the video as if yeah. Facebook just took it big. Yeah. And they started tagging their friends, they started yeah. tagging other pages. Yeah. The next thing you know, we're looking down there and we're seeing, oh, one million. Next yeah. day, oh, two million. Yeah. And it's just, it's so exciting to see that yeah. because it just shows that what we're doing makes a difference. People are actually being entertained. And yeah. that is one of our biggest goals. You're entertaining people, but it's not also it's not also easy because you talk about uh, the tricks and uploading them online. To cater for the online audience, you have to look at it in a all different dimension in terms of editing the clips and the way you upload them. That's correct. So when it comes to the whole online aspect, there's mm -hmm. so many things you have to consider. Yeah. Some of which is about how you're going to edit. You know, there's a something called over editing, which yeah. as you learn as you go yeah. spoils videos. Yeah. You start learning about and it what can't also be too long. Exactly. Yep. If you go like over two minutes, people already lose interest unless your clips are so fast yeah. and are so interesting. Yeah. It's, it tends to lose interest. So you've got that to consider. You've got the music rights to consider. You know, of course, we don't own music rights, so we have to consider what we're using. Yeah. We have to consider, is our trick shot unique? Has anybody else done it? Do we have to credit them? There's a lot of aspect that goes into the whole online yeah. bit. But if somebody who's willing to learn goes for it, it's not that hard. And I, I took a look at some of the comments that uh, people are commenting online and uh, you get to listen to them. They actually some think it's that easy, but there's so much hard work and patience that you need to make those tricks, Alikan. Yeah, it takes a lot of hard work. Yeah. I mean, th I find it hilarious sometimes when I see yeah. such comments yeah. and I don't take it personally, yeah. but uh, I just keep working hard. I keep producing things that seem impossible yeah. and hopefully they will get impressed sometime. So What's the longest time you've ever took to do just one trick? <clears throat> um, I can't work out the math, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it uh, took us a month. A month? A month, not 30 days, yeah. a month one day in each week of the month so over the span of four weeks one day so four days it took us yeah to do one too much hard work as it started paying you the last time i was with you you were broke <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well yeah we yeah. we do we do have uh, opportunities with licensors who do yeah. approach us and they want to like purchase our videos yeah. 
uh, sign a deal probably that's how our videos yeah. I think are spreading because of them because they have the contacts they share and I think yeah it, it's really helped us it has really helped you but you take a look at the time that you used to make those tricks and also finally financially it's starting to pay off but how do you get to balance that with the other things that you do because you've actually represented Kenya when it comes to Kenya's table tennis as a game you are also a psychologist you are, the last time I met you are still at school are you done yeah. with school yeah yeah I'm done I'm done with uh, university yeah. um, it was a great experience um, I started work I actually work now at uh, village market yeah. Um, we have a new place that has opened. It's called Ballpoint. Yeah. It has table tennis. It has yeah. great food, yeah. board games. It's a great enjoyment. And yeah. um, I, th I think a lot of people should come to Ballpoint. So for how long do you work? For how many hours? When do you get time to do these tricks that take uh, so much of your time and also work? And at the same time, you are a table tennis player. And also the last time you told me you're also a footballer. <laughs> <laughs> Not really a footballer. Yeah. I play for fun. Yeah. But yeah, I do devote my time to yeah. training and all. But um, in terms of working hours, I work six days a week. Yeah. The time I do get is when I'm off, I do um, get the chance to do my trick shot that one day in the week. If it works, we post. If it doesn't, mm -hmm. we find another way to entice the audience. And you started out as, as a tennis player, table tennis player here in the country. What are some of your achievements uh, when it comes to table tennis here in the country? You represented Kenya in the under-18? Yeah, um, so my first international outing was when I was 10 years old yeah. and I went to Egypt. That was my uh, African Junior Championships in Egypt. Mm -hmm. After that, um, I've been traveling, I've been training in different countries like Paris, China, all thanks to the work of Kenya Table Tennis. And I've represented the country the most recent in 2015 when I went for All Africa Games. Mm -hmm. And on my last national trials, I came out third position. So yeah. currently that's my rank in the country, number three. And uh, which is uh, the achievement that you're most proud of? Um, it's hard to say, but yeah. I think my... What won that best moment that you've had in Kenya table tennis as a player, as a national team In player? Kenya table tennis as yeah. a player, yeah. I think it would be my highest ranking that I've ever reached in the senior level, which yeah. is the number three rank. In terms of trick shots, I could say... Um, getting featured by Daily Mail, yeah. that was the biggest thing. Yeah. And uh, Tahir, you being his manager, you're the guy that actually keeps him uh, on check. You talk about uh, discipline when it comes to this sport and also you can be talented but also not get to get that exposure and the success that he's currently getting. How do you get to manage that uh, when him as a star and as a brand? Because there's a difference between a very talented guy and a star. Well. Uh, personally, I believe that, yes, you can be talented and it requires hard work to actually build yourself. Yeah. But the way it works for him, or the way it worked for us rather, is because uh, we have basically been doing this for a couple of years. We've really tried hard, we've created our own unique type of shots, our own unique brand. So you'll find that a lot of people who actually are write to us or DM us, they tend to tell us that, oh, your shots are so unique, how do we do them? And that's what makes it uh, difficult because nobody can do what he does. He does blind shots as you've seen in the, the compilations. Mm -hmm. So because of that, we were able to now get on these pages. These pages said, okay, these guys are unique. Yeah. Let's put their videos up. Yeah. So that's how we started building slowly. Of course, mm -hmm. you keep in mind that of course he's talented and he can do these types of shots, that, that adds on. But there's a lot of uh, other work that goes in, into negotiating the pages and trying to work on deals to make them um, put your videos up. And they tend to be so fickle to say because they receive over 100,000 videos a day. You know, mm -hmm. what makes your stand out? Yeah. So if you're able to achieve that because your shot is good, it's unique, it's clear, that's how you start building. That's but also, Ali Khan, there's some investment that comes with this. You, do, you didn't just, as much as that you're using the normal tools that everybody else has in their house, the cups and the stuff, there's some investment when it comes also to shooting and stuff like that. How did you start out? Yeah, it's, to be honest, it's not much. Yeah. I mean, I can go to a supermarket, yeah. buy some tape rolls, buy some balls, tape them to a table and make a crazy shot. It's not too much to ask for. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I mean, mo mostly it's investing your time, if and, anything. And I'm a firm believer of uh, supporting local talent. But how do you feel uh, for someone like you, you've really done well, your tricks are unique. Uh, they're being shelled by Fox Australia, BBC Sport, getting million of views. But really, 
Kenyan blogs haven't even picked you, yet you're shining in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good point, yeah. but uh, I mean, locally it's fine because you know table tennis is not that much of a popular sport. Yeah. But and ping pong, I, it's something different, <laughs> unique and exciting. Yeah, I'm trying to make it exciting for, for the locals yeah. because obviously you want, to, you want to bring something new, something fresh. Yeah. And by doing this, I hope I'm... Hopefully, you know, they catch on, they yeah. start liking my videos. Yeah. That's all I pray for. We're definitely wishing you the best and hoping that uh, you keep making those uh, tricky, exciting ping pong, uh, tricky shots. Some um, Samuel from Lusoi, Nyeri, please show us how Man United did yesterday against West Brom Albion. Brooklyn father, has he changed the citizenship? I'll definitely get to ask him that. Hi, I'm Don. Watch live from Beta. It's like we are soon having another Wanyama. May Lord bless our youngster, uh, that young man uh, enjoying his time at Leicester City. Hi, I'm watching from uh, Chipkumia. Please update me on Arsenal Transfer and Training Camp News. I'll definitely get to inform you about that when we get uh, back in the third and final part of sports of finale we take a short commercial break but when we come back we continue the conversation now uh, with the ping pong masters and also we get to take a look at la liga action yesterday there were two games that were played you talk about bundesliga and coppa italia ronaldo actually missed a penalty last night take a look at that